What's going on guys, today I am back with another Destiny video and today I want to cover a bit of information that dropped yesterday, mainly being a closer look at the Sentinel Titan subclass by IGN. And damn, this thing looks fun. Okay, so the Sentinel, it's destructive as hell. It owns shit. Check it out. <laughs> So this super is by far, in the words of Bungie, the most durable super in the game. It's the only aggressive support super we will see within Destiny 2. When you cast a super you can do a variant of things depending on the circumstance you are in. You can shield bash which is basically a void version of the shoulder charge from Destiny 1. You can also cast a Ward of Dawn for that moment of surprise. Use it to defend objectives, use it to defend your team just like within Destiny 1. To cast a Ward of Dawn you simply press and hold the super buttons. That being a bumpers on Xbox and L1 and R1 on PlayStation. Now the best new addition to the Ward of Dawn in my opinion is the fact the bubble now deteriorates upon taking damage, forming holes and breaking down. You also have a guard mode as you should with a shield. The guard mode doesn't really limit your play or movement but you are still open to attack from behind. Teammates behind your guard can shoot through the defence barrier but cannot get shot through it. And then we have its main means of attack which is the shield and it looks so fun. Capable of ricocheting off walls and around corners, capable of taking out multiple targets and in general looks absolutely great. I mean I am sold. I was going to start with a hunter when Destiny 2 drops as I am hunter born and bred but this sentinel titan is kind of changing my mind. It's clear Bungie have a masterclass. You can see the excitement in their eyes explaining the titan and that sentinel. I mean let's face it, it is the most durable super in the game. You can defend, you can attack, it's the best of both. The only aggressive support super in the game. It's crazy and the fact it's on a titan, well, titan masterclass, you tell me. Now the beta guys is around the corner. We will get the chance to experience this sentinel as well as the Dawnblade and Arc Strider. The beta drops the 18 for those who have pre-ordered it on PlayStation and the beta drops the 19 for those who have pre-ordered it on Xbox. Now I'll give you the details and what time you can actually access the beta right here right now. PS4 beta early access start time July 18th it's 10am PST and 6pm British summer time. That's for us UK folks. On Xbox if you pre-ordered the beta start time for you is on July 19th 10am PST and 6pm BST same British summer time. UK time. Now the open beta for all players and all consoles is July 21st. This will kick off at 10am PST and 6pm BST. Beta end time for all players on all consoles is July 23rd, 9pm PST and 5am BST for all consoles. And guys if you have redeemed your pre-order code on Bungie.net and are waiting for that email to be sent out to choose your platform and so forth, check your verified email you use on Bungie.net. Codes are being sent out. I received mine this morning. You can also pre-install the beta on your Xbox and PlayStation. If you've pre-ordered through your console, you will get automatic access to the beta when it's released. And guys, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leaving a like is much appreciated on my behalf. If you're new around here, and enjoy daily destiny videos make sure you subscribe and i will see you as always on that next one